kids how are you all i am your bulbul ma'am of yen public school palai mod i hope you all are fine and doing well at your place along with your family after a long time i thought we will meet at school but because of this covid-19 pandemic we have to meet through this youtube channel's video or else we can meet through our online classes so kids let's start our term 2 session hi students in the previous video we have learned about life cycle of a butterfly now we will learn about the social insects that is an example some insects are social and do not live alone see the page number 39 i am reading that one the purpose of living together in colonies is to get protection from enemies and share food work and shelter so social insects means what some insects will live in a group they do not live alone why why because it is the purpose to get protection from the enemies and also to get the food they share and also work shelter also insects such as ants bees wasps and termites live with other insects of their kind in large well organized colonies yes so ants bees wasps and termites wasps means what it is also like a bee but it's one sting we will not it is not harmful if 30 to 40 stings of a wasp it will harm us and termites termites means what it will eat the wood the insect that depends upon the wood that is in termites and they live in a large well organized colonies i think you have seen that ants will not live alone ants and bees are the most common social insects they have their colonies in diverse habitats and are found all over the world so they are seen in diverse habitat habitat means what in the previous class you have learned that a place where we live it is called as habitat and diverse habitat diverse means what different habitats both ants and bees live in colonies that consist of at least a queen few males and several female workers only the queen of the colonies can lay eggs so like us they also have the head of the family as we have like that they will have at least the queen and few males and also female workers in that only queen will lay eggs ants live in colonies that may range from a few ants to a large number of ants they dig their angles or nests in dirt sand or fallen logs ants can be seen in and around houses they enter the houses in search of food such as sugar bread and other food items inside the house they can be found in the kitchens a window sill and in the corners of the room window sill means what it is a narrow horizontal surface that forms the bottom part of a window there we can see the ants generally for what they go inside the house to search the food only ants are generally spotted near trees and on open grounds like parks outside the houses and also they can be seen around our house in the surroundings parks near the trees also honey bees like to get live together in hives the number of bees in a colony depends upon seasonal changes while their survival is based on good food supply they can grow in natural or tamed environment that means what a farm also some people grow the bees for honey that's why they will live in the tamed environment mostly honey bees prefer living in orchards gardens and any other areas where there are a large number of flowering plants so but where we can see the honey bees very much where it will flower that means flowering plants why because to suck the nectar from the flowers they make honey from that we even see them building their hives under the edges of objects and inside the tree canopies and also we can see under the edges of a object or inside the tree useful insects so these are the social insects so maximum social insects will what ants and bees are also social insects now we learn about the useful insects some insects are very useful to us they help us in many ways for example we get honey and also bees wax from bees for what the bees wax will be used for we can make it 
spray of soap, candle or honey. We get silk from silk worms. Yes, silk worm is also an useful insect. Why? Because we get the silk from it. Some insects carry seeds to different places which then grow into new plants. So, pollination. It is called as pollination that they carry seeds from one plant to another. Many insects eat dead plants and animals clean up the environment. For example, beetle larvae feed on plant remains and dead bodies of the animals. So, some insects what they eat dead animals and plants. Why? Because to clean up the environment. Dragonflies help in keeping the number of mosquitoes under control. So, dragonflies eat mosquitoes such that it may control that one. Now, see. Harmful insects. Many insects are harmful to us. They spread diseases and damage crops, stored food, books, furniture and clothes. Insects that bother us in houses include mosquitoes, termites, lice, cockroaches, houseflies and bedbugs. So, insects that make us worry or make us upset, those insects are what? Mosquitoes, termites. See, termite means this one. It is eating wood and what it is saying that good wood. And see here, it is silver fish. What is the doing? It eats the clothes of us. And what it is saying? My food for today is this one, socks. And bookworms. Bookworms means what? The insect that eats only paper or books. And what it is saying? That it is an interesting book. Now see. We learn about the insects that harm us in brief. Mosquitoes are biting insects. They bite us to suck our blood. Their bite can even spread diseases such as malaria, dengue and chikungunya. So that means mosquitoes are biting insects. They suck our blood. For example, female alphabet mosquito, if they bite us, then it will cause malaria. Termites are the silent destroyers. They like to eat wood and damage the books and wooden structures such as furniture. They cause great damage to buildings by digging tunnels in the walls. So, what do they do? Termites are the insects that damage the walls, that is, eating the dry walls, paper covering, and also they maximum like to eat the wood. Lice are the tiny wingless insects that live on the head of the humans. Yes, lice is what? Where, where do they live? They live on the head of our human. They crawl and suck among, small amounts of blood from the skull. So, where do they live? They live on the head. And they suck the blood from skull. Skull means what? It is a skin covering around our head. But not our face. Excluding the face, what is left that is called as skull. Their bite causes itching on the skull. Yes, if they bite, it will cause itching. Cockroaches are nocturnal insects. Nocturnal insects means what? The insects that are active at night. They doesn't sleep at night. For example, owl. That is a bird, bat, cockroach is an insect that is active at night. They are mostly found near the waste deposits or where the food is available. So, they are found near the waste deposits. They hide themselves under the mats and in drains. They carry germs and transfer them to our food. Eating this food can cause dysentery and allergies. So, if they sit in our food, what do they do? They transfer the germs from where do they live? From there they carry the germs and transfer them into the food and if we eat that type of food, we will get any diseases that means like dysentery. Dysentery means what? It is a bloody diarrhea or we may get allergy. Husbands are not, bite, not biting the tea insects. They carry germs on their body and transfer them to any food item by sitting on it. Eating such food can cause many common infections of the stomach and make us sick. Same as usual, if the houseflies also transfer the germs from where they are going and into our food, then by eating that food, we will get any stomach infections. Bedbugs are small wingless insects that feed on the blood of humans. They usually live under the sofas and bed mattresses in our homes. Their bite causes rashes on our skin. Bedbugs means what? That lives in our bed. And also under the bed mattresses or sofas. Other insects such as wasps and bees can give us painful stings. So like bees and wasps, they give us painful stings. Sting means what? It is an act of 
making bone into our skin. Remedies to prevent harmful effects of insects on humans. So till now we have learned about that. What they harm do their eyes. But now we will learn about the remedies that we can do to keep the insects away from us. When there is only redness and pain at the site of an insect bite, you can apply ice pack over the affected area. It will reduce redness and pain. So if you are seeing any insect bite in our skin, so you can apply ice pack on it. Avoid scratching the bite or skin area. So you should not scratch it over it, but you should apply the ice pack or you may take it aloe vera mint or use tea bags on the affected area you will get relief from it or if you scratch it you will get the infection you may get relief from itching at the side of the bite by using calamine lotion and also at the last you can apply calamine lotion ways to keep insects away how you should get rid of the harmful insect seed Keep all the drains of your house clean, especially of kitchen and bathroom. Make sure the garbage cans are closed properly. So, if you are using the dustbin in your home, you should close the dustbin. Do not allow standing water to get collected during rainy season. Yes, during the rainy season, you should not allow any standing water. You should wash it away. Use insect repellent for protection from insect bites and stings. These can be applied to clothing, shoes and mosquito nets. So you should use insect repellent. Repellent means what? It is a substance that prevents us from insects. Wear light colored clothes, long sleeve shirts and full pants to avoid the mosquito bites. So to avoid mosquito bites, what you should do? You should wear light colored clothes and also long sleeve. But that means full sleeve hands, shirts you should wear and full pants you should wear. Use chemicals called insecticides and pesticides to, ins to destroy the insects and pest. So what the best pest is an insect or animal that destroys plants, trees and food. Use natural methods to keep insects away. For example, we can keep dry neem leaves in clothes or apply neem or kerosene oil on wooden furniture. So you can use the repellents or insecticides or pesticides or you can use the natural methods that is apply neem or kerosene oil to the wooden furniture to get rid of termites and to get rid of silver fish, you should use the neat leaves keeping in the clothes. Lemon juice or vinegar can be spread along the path of the ants to keep them away. Mint also helps in keeping the ants and flies away. So by this, students, we have completed the chapter. That means we have discussed the lesson, but in our next video, we will have our exercises. I think it is understandable video and it is very clear to you.